And now, here's God's apostle, your servant, Evangelist Arturo Skinner. You know, we ought to be glad that he is the answer. Especially you that have tried other rivers. You that have gone down to the root work, down to the sorcery, down to Bishop Know-it-all. You couldn't get no help till you came to Jesus. You ought to be glad about it. Did you hear me? You ought to want to clap your hands.
Lord, thank him for. I thank him for my breath. Amen. I thank him that I'm still in the land of the living. You know I could have been cut off. <laughs> Somebody say yes, Lord. But nothing but God's mercy got me here tonight. And I thank him. <laughs> I thank him. Bible said the dead can't thank him. Huh? Huh? Dead can't have no thankful heart. We that are living can thank him. I tell you, we've been really having a great visitation in this church this week. Tell you, talk about God being in the place. He's in here. Amen. He's in here. Oh, hallelujah. Last night, the folks left the church and shouted out in the streets. Leaving the sanctuary and going into the streets, praising and thanking God. Amen. Folks were saved in here last night. Amen. Folks that were bound by demons were loosed last night. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. When I was getting ready to go into the office on last night, this great man of God, the pastor of this great church, our Reverend Whitfield, stopped me out there in the corridor. He said, look here, you's a man of God. That's what he said. He said, you's a man of God. He said, let me tell you something. You know that man that you called from out there in the lobby? He said, you know who that was? That's one of my deacons. And I know you don't know him. I know that. I know you don't know him. But I know he's been suffering years with his tummy. Amen. And I know you didn't know that. Oh, but you called him on last night. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, and the Lord touched him. He said he felt different and felt better. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Then tonight he come in and he told me, he said, listen, you'll never know, you'll never know how God used you on last night. That's what the pastor just said, said to me tonight. He said that tonight. He said, you'll never know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I'll know it after a while. After a while. By and by. I'll know about it. Amen, amen. I'll know about it. When I stand before the judge of all the earth, when he puts a crown on my head, I shall wear a crown. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. That's what keeps me in courage. Somebody say that. Yeah. One day, yeah. after a while. Hallelujah. I'm going to fly away. Did you hear me? I'm going to fly away. I'm getting away from all of these evil folks. I'm saying goodbye to all of these lying prophets. I'm saying farewell. Hallelujah. To all these thieves and robbers. I'm getting out of here. I'm going where the wicked gonna seek some trouble. Where the weary is gonna be at rest. Where every day, every day, every day, I'll be thanking him. I'll be praising him. I'll be magnifying him. I'll be glorifying him. You see, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, like I know what the Lord has done for me. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I get homesick, sometimes I get weary with life, hallelujah. But I stay encouraged to know that one day, 
the trump of God shall sound. The dead in Christ shall come up. But we that remain, we that are around here, we're going to be caught up. Caught up. I got over. 